guys welcome back to a new video today i have with me the new toyota yaris gr sport four doors this is a hybrid a full hybrid and it's a super special car and i will explain you in this video why i said that i will make the full review interior exterior and i will try to show you every single feature about this yaris gr sport before that i want to give you some technical data and price and also i want to tell you that i'm here at emil frey in bern you can check them out i will leave the link in the description so if you want to buy the car see the car test drive the car check them out guys like i said before i have with me the toyota yaris this is the gr sport Port version it comes with 1.5 liter engine vvti and it has 116 horsepower now it's not as powerful as gr yaris where you have only two doors and it's right here next to me if you want to see the full review and the test drive with it i already have it on the channel this one have four doors but it has the stiffness of a sporty car so in comparison with a normal yaris this yaris gr sport have stiffer suspension much more set up to sporty driving they also stiffer the body guys so they work a little bit of the body of the car so to make the car much more responsive in curves much better handlings much better aerodynamic and acceleration and actually check out the test drive video because there i talk a little bit about how it's feeling on the road and i tell you it's really really nice it's not as sporty as aggressive as gr uh, yaris but it's totally good and it's a great combination if you want to have a yaris but in the same time you want to have some sporty feeling let's go forward the car come with this system full hybrid system that means it has also an electric motor and the battery and when you go downhill when you uh, press the brake when you decelerate the energy will go back to the battery and it will help you when you accelerate and also for example when you are uh, cruising or when you go at low speed you have also a button here that you can go only in electric mode but i will explain you that as we go forward the price of the car here at emil frey in switzerland 29,700 francs is the starting price with all these options added that i can uh, show you like this you can also pause the video and read it out if you want to price will be around 32,140 francs and with all this extra and package you can see here included pack technology 1690 a metallic color 750 and here exclusive yeah i think this is the preparation for delivery it's around 460 or 90 francs will be 32,140 francs this is the final price of this car now i want to give you some technical data before we go forward and also keep in mind that the car come with a head-up display it's optional and it's also included here i will show you later metallic color parking health and premium audio sound system gbl i will show you later they are also included in this price and it's quite a nice price for a sport car uh, you will see in the test drive video what i'm talking about and you will see also in this video why i'm saying that and also let's don't forget that toyota cars are one of the most reliable in the world i mean in terms of engine they last for so many years okay so that was all guys let's start the review interior exterior and then in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys first of all let's start with the key this is the key what you can do with the key this is the same key by the way that it used also on normal yaris what you can do with the key it's just lock the car and unlock the car when you lock the car you will see that the car come also with electric folding mirrors and also you can unlock the car and lock the car by having your finger right here so pretty simple just like that on both sides uh, it's working and if you want to unlock it just put your finger here and you will see how good this system work also you can hear the doors the doors quality are pretty nice not something extraordinary but they sound quite nice anyway let me turn on the lights and let's talk a little bit about the exterior design in my opinion toyota yaris in general it's one of the most beautiful car in the small classes and yeah this is my opinion i think it looks really nice it has beautiful lines beautiful shapes also you can see here some improvement on this gr sport the bumper down there looks so so sporty so aggressive so sexy also the roof spoiler there the lines on the side even the side wings they make it a little bit more extended on the side so it will have a less drag down there we have a downskirt 
here in the front, beautiful bumpers, beautiful lines also on the hood. It's, it's a super nice, compact car, perfect for city and perfect to have some fun sometimes, like it is this GR Sport. So I really like it. And even if you look at the rims, I think they fit so nice. Those 18 inch rims, they fit really beautiful on the car. I don't know if I have something that I don't like about the car in terms of exterior design. Now, if we go closer here, you will see that even the radio antenna, we have a new radio antenna. It's modern, it's nice, it's well integrated there. The roof spoiler looks phenomenal and you can see how many lines and sharp edges and round shapes here on the hood, even on the hood, you can see it has some different round shapes up there that help the aerodynamic of the car. And let's don't forget that the car come with 10 years warranty. So they really, really trust this system and this engine and this car. Here is the brake light in the interior there. You have LED light inside the window, tinted windows on the rear, tinted windows on the side. Uh, this is the metallic color. I think you can see it already when I was close there. It looks really nice. Even here in the back, you can see you have a second spoiler here that looks super sporty and aggressive and I like the way it looks. I really like it. Hybrid here on the side. On the other side, we have Yaris writing Toyota logo. Uh, also here, we have the lights, full LED lights, guys, for the tail lights, for the turning signals, for reverse light. It's a full, full LED light. So uh, from this point of view, it's just perfect. Down here on the bumper, we have the fog lamp that looks just phenomenal the way they integrate it down there on the bumper. And you can see the bumper with some rear diffuser down here, design, glossy plastic, some light reflectors. We have four parking sensors on the rear, beautiful sporty design uh, on the bumper in the back here. Also, we have the GR Sport, so you know which version it is. The car comes with a reverse camera and also lights on the number plate. The only thing is that the lights on the number plate are normal halogen light and I don't know why they use halogen light. Down here on the right side we have the exhaust pipe and you can see it closer the way it looks quite nice. It looks really really beautiful. Now going on the side pretty simple on the windows not too many changes is the same thing as the normal Yaris even the handle the same handle uh, as on the normal model. Here we have the mirror big mirrors nice design also some blind spot in the corner here we have the technology huge mirrors they are big like an suv to be honest and you have amazing visibility from the interior also here we have an led light for the turning signals on the side and also some line scripts here on the leg of the mirror there you have the camera and sensors for a raining and light camera to read the traffic speed limit lane assist and all that safety features right there on the windscreen here in the front, as I said, guys, they extend those wings a little bit. So they make it to don't have so much uh, resistance to the air while you're driving at high speed, for example. In the front, the hood, spectacular, sexy, nice lines here, sharp edges. Also, you can see the front light here, LED, full LED, guys, also in the front, the, the daylight and also the turning signals are full, full LED lights. Even down here on the bumper, you have this fog lamp that it's uh, full LED lights, beautiful lines, beautiful shape in the front, four parking sensors as well. And also we have the grill here with some chrome. You can see they put some chromes here in the front and it looks so, so nice. This is the radar for adaptive cruise control behind this plastic uh, emergency brake, all that safety features. Down here, another huge air intakes and then the radiator behind there. Beautiful, it looks really nice, really unique. The front end of the car, what do you think about it? Look at the lights, quite aggressive. From the first time when I see the car, I like it. I really like everything about the car. GR here, logo on the side. So you know, this is a special, special model. Quite beautiful. Those are the tires. We have 18 inch rims right here, big stone tires. Also ventilated brake this in the front. They look quite nice. The rims, guys, they are incredibly beautiful. I think those are the most beautiful rims that I see on a Toyota car with some red insertion. So they already tell you somehow that it's a GR on the rims. Beautiful rims, really beautiful. On the rear, just normal brake discs on the rear. Uh, but overall, beautiful, beautiful rims. 
I really like them. I think they are super styly. The down skirt, of course, they add some down skirt here uh, for aerodynamic and also for a sporty look. Pretty cool. Anyway, let me show you the engine bay, guys. And then we will go forward. You can see right now the engine, it's somehow stopped because they save some energy with the battery. Now, going here in the front, very easy to open it up. It's a manual lift gate also in the front right here. And also you can see down here the engine. Here it is, guys, 1.5 liter. Uh, this is the engine 116 horsepower. Here's the air filter. There are the fuse box. And here is the wiper liquid. Where is the blue? And yeah, that's it. Just want to show you. Open the trunk, manual lift gate here in the trunk. Super simple to open it up. You have a handle up here. Other than that, you have also this protection uh, for the trunk. It's a similar trunk with the normal Yaris. So we have some plastic at the entrance here. Uh, quite a flat floor. This is a good thing because it's quite, quite practical. And I like that very much. Also, you have a light, a normal bolt light here on the, on the left side. Here you have a hook under the floor. I know you want to find out what it is. It's another floor and this is crazy practical because if you look here, you have like 10 to 15 centimeters deepness where you can add a lot of things down there. Also under this floor, you have another space there where you can put different things. Super useful, super nice. Anyway, quite cool, quite cool. Let me take out this protection. You can take out this protection also very very easy and then i will fold down the seats and i'll show you how it looks without this protection and with seats folding down all right now the protection it's out and this is the trunk this is the way it looks relatively big trunk big entrance in the in the car right here i like that i really like it uh, i think it's super practical guys and with this space down there you can fit in a lot of things here you can even go in holidays i don't know with kids but without kids you can do it without any problem if you want to fold down the seats you have to fold it 40 60 you don't have the possibility to fold down the middle part but <laughs> most of the cars in this class don't have this opportunity it's so easy to fold it down and um, the quality feel quite good even on the on the buttons up there when you press it to fold it down you have manual adjustable seats let me put it a little bit forward kind of like that in normal position and let me show you the way it looks this is it this is the way it looks with the seats folding down pretty much space you can fit in here uh, a lot of things if you go to groceries you buy some big items you can also carry up uh, here in the back without any problem so what do you think about that guys good space overall it's a good good space let me go on the side let me show you open the door the door it doesn't open too much it's open until until here the same as on the normal Yaris but you have enough space to go inside here and you can see one more time from this angle um, how much space it is here in the back overall it's plenty of space for the size of the car I think it's more than enough down there you have a small transmission tunnel you can fit in a lot of stuff as well and overall quite quite big space now let me put everything back and then we will go inside guys all right now let's go here in the back one window one piece window and then down here on the door quite simple design nothing fancy nothing crazy on the upper side we have plastic up here down here we have also plastic but in a different trim if you look closer uh, it looks a little bit different down here some storage space for one bottle uh, speaker handle the button for the windows handle again super simple uh, the doors are just practical and simple nothing fancy nothing crazy the entrance it's relatively fine so you can go inside here without any problem you can see also uh, the space right here in the back it's also fine. I will go inside and I will show you the way it looks. Also, you can see the seats. Uh, the seats are great. The quality of the seats are incredible nice. So we have leather on the upper side, leather on the side here. Even here, uh, we have some plastic on the side, but keep in mind, 
In the middle we have kind of an Alcantara and it's really good quality. I really love the seats. The quality of the seats when you touch them, when you feel them, it's like they last for many years. Is all fixed for child. You can install two child seats without any problem. Even in the middle, they kind of make a flat floor so you can sit even there in the middle if you want to. Transmission tunnel, as you see before, it's relatively small. And I like the fact that they look really big. For how small is the car, the seats are looking big here. Behind the front seat, you have some leather stuff material. Also on the other side, the same story. Let me go inside. Let me show you how much space I have here. So once I'm inside the car, close the door. The sound insulation in the car, it's also very good. As I tell you also in the test drive video, visibility is good, no problem. And also I have enough space here on my head, like three fingers. I'm 173 centimeters, by the way. And I have enough space here on my legs, uh, even to stretch my legs under the front seat a little bit. Maybe if you are taller, maybe you will have a problem up here, but uh, you can go also a little bit forward and then you will sit here quite well. And uh, keep in mind that the seats it's adjusted in my driving position. So uh, yeah, just to, to keep in mind. Handle, hook, good uh, comfort for me at least that I'm not so tall here in the middle. Actually, you don't have anything guys. No vents, no USB it's nothing but it's great that the transmission tunnel it's super small actually it's it's you can stay even with your legs together leg space this is the space on the legs and on the head in the middle it's like two fingers stretch my hand not too much stretch my hand not too much so this is a kind of a four people driving car but it's quite comfortable here in the back i didn't expect to be so comfy and yeah it's nice even in the middle it's quite nice now we will go in the front. I will show you also the things in the front right there. Steering wheel, the dashboard, the multimedia, and we will talk about the new changes. And yeah, overall, I think you see already my review, my first review with Toyota Yaris. And my impression about the dashboard is that um, it's, it's quite nice. It's modern for, for the size of the car. It's, it's really great. I mean, it, you look at it and you don't know if you're driving a a mini compact or compact car uh, because it looks really good anyway let's go in the front here in the front one big huge window it's incredible how big it is if you look at the window and at the mirror you will think that you are in an suv and this is super practical the design of the door in the front it's a little bit different than on the back for example on the upper side you have the same plastic but here you have some uh, nice insertion kind of a pl uh, glossy black uh, line here then in this area we have kind of a stuff material but quite harder if you look closer you can see it um, some chrome design here handle handle the space here guys in the door bands are a little bit bigger than in the back it's quite fine uh, now here we have a speaker gr plate i like that very much and i like also very much the pedals the pedals are great aluminum pedals also let me show you the seats and the steering wheel that are my favorite part look at the seats in the front look at the gr the quality it's phenomenal i mean i love i like the way it feels when you touch it side support side support the red stitches the combination here alcantara with the red the dots in the middle there look so good and they are so big so bright i drive the car they are very comfy the gr there look also super nice super super nice uh, right here on the headrest manual adjustable seats that's something to keep in mind even the carpet is gr beautiful carpet heated steering wheel automatic high beam uh, up here we have also plastic in this area but nice design uh, on the upper side here we have soft material you can see everywhere in this area and there in the other area it's soft material the vents are also nice quite big and they send the air uh, perfectly in the position you want i tried this as well because i have to cool down my camera a little bit and i tried them before they are really good they they send the air perfectly where you choose to send it and also those from here the same story uh, they are really good and they send the air where you want to send it here you have a lot of space for a phone for example if you want to put a phone here or something you can put it there yeah let me park the car on the shady place and then i will continue in that all right, I just parked the car where is no sun, so you can see a little bit better. So here, as I said before, you can put your phone. 
uh, you have some vents here, soft material everywhere here on the upper side. You have the GBL sound system on the car, so you have a lot of speakers here. You can see two there, one in the middle, another two here on this side. The head-up display is phenomenal. I think you see it already on my other reviews. You can see it right there uh, in that area. You can see the speed, the speed limit, the lane assist. And yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. It's directly on the windshield and it's, it's one of the best. I tell you, I like it really, really much. Uh, how you see it, you can see it right here while you're driving. You have a gorgeous, gorgeous visibility. Also, from the driver point of view overall, you have a very good visibility from here and also easy to reach out those physical buttons, easy to reach out the screen and to reach out those physical buttons on the uh, steering wheel. Visibility around the windows it's perfect, nothing to say on the side, big mirror, big window in the front, perfect mirror here. You can see how good visibility you have also from here. Uh, also, you go forward, you can see in the back there, maybe a little bit of blind spot in the corners in the back, but overall it's fine. Uh, you can see one more time the seats in the back. Here in the middle you have an armrest. You can also open it up for your phone or you can put it up like that. Here you have two cup holders. Everything is made by plastic down here but they focus more on the other important things. I think it doesn't matter too much that you have a plastic here. It's matter how good the car is driving. It's matter how reliable it is. Electronic handbrake, auto hold, driving mode. From here you have, uh, you can see down there, you have free driving mode, normal mode, kind of nothing, power mode and eco mode. So you can choose which mode you want, traction control and EV mode. You can press this button and then you drive only in electric mode if you have enough battery. Here you have different, uh, the stalk for changing the different driving modes. So you have parking, reverse, neutral, drive and B. B, when you go in B, the car will regenerate more energy. If you take out the foot of the acceleration, the car will regenerate the energy back in the battery. If you go in reverse, uh, you will see the reverse camera. It has a nice camera. Not a great resolution, but nice, big and very visible, I should say. Put it back in parking. Now you have a wireless charging down there and 12 volt port as well. Uh, super useful. So you have another space to put your phone. Not only that you have that space up here, but you have another one here. So it's incredible practical, the car. Also up here you have some USB. You have the possibility to uh, heat your seat. You have heating on your seat. Then, if those spaces was not enough, you have another space up here, like you usually have utility cars, and then you have also the glow box, of course. So you have plenty of storage uh, spaces in this new Yaris to put my phone here, to put some things here, some things here. It's super nice, and for such a small car, I think it's incredible practical. Now, very nice integration of the screen also here. It's perfectly positioned, so you see everything is really, really well. Uh, but before that, let me tell you that here is the button. GR Start Engine button. This is the screen, the same cockpit. In the middle there, you have a lot of information about consumption. Uh, let me show you. You can change also to see kind of navigation information, media. Here you have also some information about time about the battery energy flow about the tire pressure and if you go down you have a lot of information where you can set up the car cruise control head-up display all that safety features i have a separate video with all those things on my channel so if you want to find out uh, check it out guys also with the multimedia system here on the left side you can see all kind of information about um, the car like charging uh, electric uh, the way it uses the energy and then here you have uh, you see how many gas tank you have and the temperature of the engine. So overall, um, this is it. Steering wheel, you can see the GR steering wheel, great steering wheel, leather steering wheel. I like very much those little holes, the, the stitches, the red stitches, the grip, it's phenomenal. Um, lovely steering wheel. Also, you have those physical buttons here where you can change different function on the cockpit. Uh, super easy and also the voice com command and telephone and also here the uh, uh, volume. On the other side you have the cruise control and all that safety features. Uh, you can change it very simple from here while you're driving. Uh, down here you have the GR logo, beautiful inserted and overall it's a beautiful steering wheel. It's perfect. The size, uh, the easiness is great. Also you can adjust the steering wheel down, up, forward, backward. Super simple just like that. Now 
climatic system of course down here you can change the temperature and everything there are physical buttons there and they are perfect i mean you can change everything super simple from here turn it on turn it off i think you already know it it's it's super super easy to use it going forward a little bit higher we have this new multimedia system uh, from toyota and you have some fix buttons here uh, like shortcut buttons and it's super simple it's not the most complex multimedia system on the market but it do his job perfectly you have also the navigation here and the navigation it's, it's really good the, the problem with the navigation is that it's not super responsive as you find it in other cars for example but it's very reliable when you set a destination when you charge it after you charge the destination then uh, it will go there without any problem it will show you the trip the signs the um, the, the all the information that you need and they are super reliable because i i tested before as well anyway you can see also on the navigation the traffic speed limit and you have also extra uh, information on the navigation i have a separate video where i show you more details uh, about it if you want to see it check it out so overall yeah it's a nice one then if you go to home you have the phone projection you can connect your phone here um, projection here you can connect android auto apple car play super simple from here media navigation services vehicle here on the vehicle uh, you have also the tire pressure the energy flow all kind of information it shows you what happened with the energy right now tire pressure drive information consumption uh, fuel consumption of course and yeah overall you go back to vehicle and those are the most important things of course you can go to settings here and then you have the device sound settings system settings wi-fi settings and radio settings it's a simple navigation system it's nothing complex nothing complicated nothing crazy so overall it does its job perfectly so yeah i guess no complaining more details check out the full uh, review with a multimedia system from toyota up here the mirror you already see it simple mirror big mirror good visibility up here also of course some normal light normal bulb light halogen light and here we have a mirror quite big good visibility also in the mirror up here and also you have the handle the quality of the roof mm, it's not i should say from one to ten i will give it a four five maybe around there but overall other things are really good now guys let me stop the engine for a while let me talk a little bit for a while i think i show you almost everything about this new toyota yaris gr sport and to be honest it has a little bit of plastic here and there but if you think about what it's important in a car how many years it will last uh, how reliable it is how much it consume and uh, how comfortable it is and practicality and let's talk about that this car probably doesn't have a mercedes interior or a few things are missing but when you think about how many years will last this car how many money you will save from this perfect engine uh, that consumes so less and comfort it's great and it's a beautiful car and it has also super nice uh, handlings and uh, it was really fun to drive so my rating for this Toyota Yaris from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 this is my rating um, it's a great car and in my opinion it's one of the best in this class that was the video if you still have questions ask me down below if you want to see the test drive probably it's already on the channel if it's not already on the channel check out next days uh, or click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out thank you very much for watching if you want to buy the car see the car you are around switzerland check out emil frey in bern just give them a call give them make them a visit if you want to see the car that was the video thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate that stay safe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys